what's going on guys it's Jeremy Patrick here and you are welcome to the channel um, did you know that the satoshi chain has been changed from tbtcs to tcore now if you're probably if you're new to this you wouldn't be aware of this but if you're someone who has been following up with the project then of course you would be aware that something like this has been going on this is the reason a lot of us haven't been able to connect or bind our satoshi chain to our metamox wallet all right um, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to bind or connect your Satoshi chain, which is the T-Core chain, the recent chain that was just created um, to your MetaHoose wallet, okay? So, I want you to pay close attention and don't skip any part of this video because in this video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step what you need to know. I'm going to be leaving links in the description, helpful links. I'm going to be showing you I get the updates. I'm going to be discussing with you right here in this video. So, pay close attention and don't skip any part watch till the very end so you don't miss any important information i'll be sharing with you in this video all right guys now but before we begin i want to say this if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the like button subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell to all all right okay this will enable you get video notification immediately i drop them all right so you don't miss out whenever i create new interesting and cool videos like this now, the first thing you have to do to connect your Satoshi chain to your MetaMask wallet is to first of all download the MetaMask wallet from Google Play Store. That is, if you don't have one, all right. So I'm just going to head over to Google Play Store right now. I'm going to click that, and I'm going to type MetaMask wallet in the search bar. So I'm just going to click that right now, and also clicking that right here in the search bar. Just type in MetaMask, all right, or just MetaMask wallet, all right, and select it. Once you select that, you're going to see um the app the motor helps me the metamos wallet app all right now this wallet has a fox like um kind of logo a fox logo let me just put it that way so what you have to do is to click the install button to install this app installation is just like downloading the app all right so click the install button and go ahead and install this app right now so once installation is complete you're going to see a green button that would um right open all right that green button is what you what you click on next okay that cancel button is going to change to green all right that will say open just click on the open button right down to um log you into your meta mux wallet app. but i'm not going to do that i'm going to go to traditional way i'm going to minimize this right now and go to my app gallery and um pick the meta mux wallet so you can see how it looks like all right so here is our metamux wallet at the bottom right hand corner of our screen so um yeah that's it i'm just going to open it right now so you get to see how this whole process is now under step one but we're going to move ahead right now and create our free account okay the account is free just like any other crypto wallet out there trust wallet binance wallet coinbase wallet and the rest so i'm just going to create an account right now so follow me as we proceed now once this opens out first you're meant to do is to click on get started but um if you notice after this step the whole screen goes blank and that's because a uh, metamux wallet is trying to like protect your data they don't want someone to steal your information okay so that's why they turned they blanked or they made the screen blank all right screen recording or screenshotting on this app is not allowed but no need for worries because i'm going to show you um step by step how to create this wallet with a picture tutorial all right um the picture tutorial was gotten from a website called Honkyat, and that's what I'm going to use to um, teach you how to carry out this process on your phone. So, without further ado, let's just get straight into this lesson right now. Once you click on that Get Started button, you're going to land in this page. You're going to say, if you, didn't, if you didn't either import your wallet using your password, that is for those that have a wallet. But for the purpose of this lesson, we're going to be creating a new wallet. So, we we'll select the Create New Wallet right there. All right, once you select the Create New Wallet, you just click on the Agree button right there to agree to the terms and conditions just read that for yourself now you'll be redirected to the next page you'll be asked to create a new password by typing in the password in the first box then repeating the password by confirming it then you tick that tiny recapture box and then click on confirm password now once you do that you'll be redirected to this page that says start now this start um, section is actually going to be taking you to the process of getting your recovery phrase or your passphrase for as some wallet call it okay which is your 12 word series which you can use to secure your account your passphrase is just like your ATM card all right so you can simply go ahead and click on the start button so you'll be taken to the next step so the next phase here says right then you 
um, recovery phase in a piece of paper and store in a safe place yes write that down in a piece of paper is very important do not save it in a cloud storage do not save it on your pc save it in a piece of paper and keep it in a safe place very very important and do not share it with anyone because anyone that has access to it can do away with your funds so simply click start and then click that view um, button right there to view your passphrase now make sure there is no one around you when doing this even if it's a friend just stay away from anybody and do this privately all right so now write down this password accordingly all right before you click that continue button write them down accordingly as it was given to you do not mix them up all right now go ahead and click on continue now once you click on continue in the next phase you'll be asked to fix them in exactly the way it was given to you all right you're just going to be selecting them one by one okay accordingly as it was given to you when you're done doing this you simply hit that continue button to head to the next stage now the next stage right here is the end stage which says congratulations you have successfully created your wallet all right so you are done just click on that done and you'll be redirected to your wallet so right now right here this is my wallet right now and this is where i'm going to continue this tutorial from and i'm going to be as fast as i can all right i'm not going to waste any of your time so pay close attention as we move to step two which is connecting your satoshi chain um t core chain to your metamux wallet all right this is step two right now so let's go guys so first thing first just click on that three horizontal lines at the top left hand corner of your screen all right just click on that now once you click on that click on settings now once you click on settings click on networks once you click on networks click on add network because we have to change the network now once you click on add network You'll be asked to choose from the list of networks right there, but we're going to go ahead and choose custom network. So just click on custom network, switch to custom network. So this is where it becomes interesting and where you need to pay my attention. I'm going to X out of this app right now and I'm going to head over to my Satoshi PTCS app. All right, this is where I'm going to get the network details or network information I'm going to be placing there. So I'm going to open that app up right now. So I'm simply going to wait for it to open up and then um, once it opens up, click on that part that says brand update announcements. That's actually the announcement section of Satoshi BTC mining app. Okay, that's the section that has the Twitter icon at the moment. So just click on it right there. And once it opens up, search for core chain testnet. All right, the core chain testnet announcement section. All right, that's the announcement section you are meant to look into okay that's where you get all the details but what you fill in there that's where you get the details of how to get one t core chain into your metamux wallet now the first link here is where you get all the details you need the second link is where you get to see transaction in real time all right the third link is where you get um the opportunity to get one t core chain into your metamux wallet but like i told you before we'll be dealing with the first link so we'll be able to bind our metamux wallet to the satoshi chain because we need the information to fill into our metamux wallet so i'm just going to open that right now in my chrome browser all right now once it opens up you're going to see three um doc files you're going to pick the first one user guide for core testnet now this is where a lot of people make mistakes they go online watching different youtube videos um trying um looking for ways to bind their metamux wallet to the satoshi chain but because most of these videos created um has old information it doesn't actually work out for them that's why this video is an update i'm going to be telling you why okay the satoshi btc testnet all right changed from tbtc to t core all right and these are the information you'll be needing right here the network name is the core chain testnet the new rpc url is this the core chain everything you'll be needing to fill into your metamus wallet so we're going to go ahead right now pick this exactly as it, as it is and fill it into our metamus wallet as quick as possible all right as you can see it's t core chain right there and not the tbc so i'm just going to head over to my metamus wallet right now once again here is what we would be filling in in our metamus wallet now i'm going to drop the link to this very site in the description of this video so you can easily assess it all right right now we're in my metamux wallet so i'm going to type everything i see right here exactly as it was all right 
so i'm done typing all the information so i'm just going to go ahead and click on add right now please note for the symbol you type in t core and not tbtc tbtc is let me say the former update okay the recent update says the core chain has been changed to t core and not and no longer tbtc all right all right not tbtc anymore so go with the t core instead all right so once you click on add it's going to tell you you have switched to uh, the t core chain testnet and things to keep in mind you can read that for yourself and i'll just go ahead right now and click on got it all right so once you click on got it you see the t core chain wallet right there right now so as you can see it's right here now so we would simply move to the next step which is to get t core from satoshi chain faucet all right so how do we do that how do we carry out the, this process all we have to do right now is to head over to our btcs app all right you see the link right there that says scan test.btc.network.faucet all right that's what we're going to open in our browser and and i've already opened it right here this is how it looks like okay so what we are meant to do right now is just is to click the receive button in our metamask wallet right just click the receive button to copy our wallet address okay to so just copy the wallet address you just have to click on that copy icon right it is that simple once you click on the copy icon head back to your browser all right which you've opened the faucet btc faucet link in all right just head back to your browser and then paste it in there so i'm right here right now in my browser so all i just have to do now is to impute my core chain address in that field all right impute it and then take the recapture balls then select t core to to get the t core chain directly into my metamux wallet so i'm done solving the recapture so i'm just going to click on get t core and as you can see funded success in transaction now once you see funded success in transaction that means you have successfully received your ticker all you just have to do is to head back to your metamask wallet to confirm it so the first step is pasting your wallet stick the recapture and solve the recapture then click on select get ticker to get the ticker straight into your wallet okay for you to confirm you've got you've gotten this you have to see a funded success in transaction message all right so i'm gonna head back to my metamux wallet right now to confirm if this has actually reflected um so i'm having signal issue right here so i'm just going to click on try again to refresh this page right now so as you can see right there guys one tick has been sent to my metamask for free all right so this is how the process works this is how to get t core chain sent straight to your metamask wallet all right now the value up there is not real so do not use it for any real transaction or else you would get banned if caught all right it's only for testing purpose all right so guys this is basically the video i for this is what the tutorial entails all right um if you are pumped up about videos like this then make sure you hit, this, hit that subscribe button because i'll be creating more videos like this very soon i'll be creating update on the satoshi btcs app um i create videos on how to mine cryptocurrencies like pine network eagle network um b network and the likes i create videos on how to my free cryptocurrencies like bitcoin litecoin shiba inu coin dogecoin and the likes so if you are really pumped up about videos like this then make sure you hit that like button subscribe to the channel and also turn that notification bell on most importantly so you don't miss out whenever i create new videos like this if you haven't joined satoshi's btc app yet if you haven't started mining i'll leave a link in the description of this video which you can use to sign up and create your free account right now once more um i'll be leaving a link to all the sites i visited um all the sites i got the information from so you can easily access it without having complication all right so i'll see you in my next video guys cheers